welcome to Adelicious and I am Aditi. So a while back I posted a small video on Facebook where I was peeling off some edible lace and I asked you guys if you would like to see a tutorial on it and so many of you requested for one. So here I am showing you how to make edible lace. Uh, it requires only 5 ingredients where, which are very easily available and it has no banana powder so it's perfect for vegetarians who are looking for an edible lace recipe. And I hope I make it simple for you because it's really, really simple to make. Just needs a little bit of practice but once you have it, you'll make it in no time at all. So before we jump into the tutorial, I just have a small request from you guys. So YouTube has this new policy where if you don't hit the bell icon which is next to the subscribe button, you won't be notified whenever I upload a new video. So please, please, please press the bell icon so that you get notified for any new uploads that I have. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the ingredients you'll need for the sugar lace are half cup of boiling water, one tablespoon of Tylose powder, two tablespoons of cornstarch or corn flour, one tablespoon of icing sugar or powdered sugar and half teaspoon of liquid glucose or corn syrup. In a clean bowl, add in the boiling water and then add in one tablespoon of level Tylose powder to it sprinkle it on and then using a fork mix it nicely till you don't see any white specks you don't need to be very particular because we'll be leaving it for 5 to 10 minutes because after 5 to 10 minutes it'll completely become translucent and you won't see any white specks of tylos powder once this is done now it's time to add in the cornstarch we'll be adding two tablespoons of cornstarch and i'll be leveling it with a palette knife so add in two tablespoons of cornstarch now it's time to add in a level tablespoon of icing sugar into the bowl and then sift it all together and then using a fork mix it all in till it becomes like a paste. You'll feel that it's a little dry as of now but we'll add water and colour to it later on to thin it out. So now I'll add half teaspoon of glucose. If you, if you think the glucose is a little hard then you can melt it in the microwave and then add it to the mixture or if you're using corn syrup then you won't have this problem at all. Since this mixture is off-white in colour, I like to add white gel colour to it. I like to start with a white base and then mix in any colour I wish. I think that gives a better end colour to the lace. Mix the colour in properly, don't forget to scrape down the sides of the bowl using a scraper so that everything is nicely mixed. Now it's time to add 1 teaspoon of water at a time till you reach a thick paste kind of consistency. Don't add too much water because then the lace will take forever to dry and you won't be able to peel it off. This is the kind of consistency we are after. It's thick but spreadable. Now add the desired colour of your choice. I'm using light pink. And now I have the paste ready and it's time to spread it on a mat. So here I have two kinds of mat. One is a little thin and the other is a little thick. As you can see the green one is a little thicker than the purple one. So the thinner one takes a little less time than the thicker one. You can find these mats at any cake decorating supply store or they are easily available online. Take a little bit of the lace mixture and spread it on the mat. Then take a palette knife and work the mixture in all the directions so that it reaches inside all the lace pattern. You'll need to apply a little bit of pressure so that it goes into all the nooks and the crannies. If you see any gaps, fill them in with the mixture because if you leave them, the lace might tear from there. And then finish it off with a scraper and remove all the excess. Now leave the lace to dry overnight of 8 to 10 hours before trying to peel it off. You can also speed up the process by placing it in the oven at the lowest temperature of about 60 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. But the downside of this is that if you leave it a little longer, the lace becomes brittle and breaks on you. So for people trying for the first time, I recommend drying it at room temperature. This lace mat is pretty thin unlike the previous one. So this one you need to be extra careful that there are no spots left because chance of this one tearing are higher. Once the lace has dried up, you can check by peeling a corner. If it comes off easily, then go right ahead and peel off the remaining lace. If it's not, then leave it to dry a little longer. Don't pull on the lace too hard. You might stretch it and deform it or tear it. So be gentle and peel off in small sections. If you have made it right then you should not have any problems peeling the lace off the mat. This lace is very pliable, you can keep it for a long time. This red lace over here, I made it 4 months back and it's still pliable and fine. 
you just need to store it the right way to store these i place them between sheets of parchment paper and store it in an airtight box you can make it ahead of time and use it whenever you have a cake order you can also cut out patterns from the lace and let them dry completely till they become hard and then you can use those as decorations on your cake if you want to stand them on a cake so they'll be perfect for that so i hope i made making edible lace easier for you uh, it just needs a little bit of practice as i said earlier but if you try it don't forget to share your experiences in the comment section below or share a picture with me on my facebook or my instagram links to both are in the description box below and if you're not following me on instagram please do because i share a lot of behind the scenes and projects that i'm working on on instagram so do forget to follow me there what else subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because i share uh, new videos every week and if, if you have any requests leave them in the comment section below and i definitely go through them would make something in the future um that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you again bye bye